So, do you remember Switchbot? They made these little robots. Which can push and pull things in the physical world with a digital press. Now, I'll be honest, back in the day when I first saw these things advertised, I thought to myself, I'll never use anything like that because there's so much room for failure. I'd just rather completely replace the light switch with a new smart light switch. Fast forward a few years and I've actually got these things everywhere. And no, not just because they've sponsored this video specifically, but because they are actually really useful. So with that being said, let's tour my SwitchBot smart home. <laughs> Up in the attic, you can see this jerry-rigged switch bar on the side of my Anker 787 battery system with this elaborate camera system installed in front of it. Back to what I mentioned earlier about the smart light switch, there's certain products that you just can't smarten up and that's where these robots really, really shine. I can, in a nutshell, simulate a button press on the Anker 787 and then with that camera, remotely monitor the percentage of the battery anywhere in the world with an internet connection. Something that had no means of being smart has now been smartened up. I've got these little robots everywhere, on the side of wireless controllers for lights and even on my old school heating system so I don't have to come upstairs and do this. And even in this wooden box, so I can remotely fire up my sauna heater. Possibly one of the dumbest pieces of tech on the planet. Now, I know what you're thinking. Surely you have to be within Bluetooth range to activate the little robots. And yeah, you do, unless you have one of the hubs. Now these things, the hubs, they take it to the next level. Climate systems in houses, although used by literally everyone, really haven't caught up with the smart home age of timings and are usually really expensive to smarten up. The hubs not only allow you to control the switch bots from outside of your house, but they have an IR blaster built in as well. And I use this to basically control all of the heat pumps around my house. And loads of other IR appliances, like my bedroom TV. But you see, controlling devices physically or through IR is only really part of the story. Within the SwitchBot app, coupled with automations, things can get really powerful. For example, within the SwitchBot app, I can create a brand new automation that says, when a smart device, let's say the kitchen temperature, the temperature decreases to, let's say, 17 degrees, then add an action, which is gonna be turn on the air conditioner and set it to its heating mode on its maximum temperature. Hit OK, and then we're good to go. If the kitchen temperature decreases to 17 degrees, this bad boy is gonna come on automatically. And then you just do the exact same thing, but say when the temperature reaches 23 degrees, for example, turn off the air conditioner. Now I have completely automated the climate within this room just using a SwitchBot hub. SwitchBot also make lots of different interesting sensors, like motion sensors, for example, and these all tie into the SwitchBot app and can work with automations. The thing I think that's most important here is I don't think there will be two SwitchBot setups that are the same because these products are so versatile and work with so many different random things. The SwitchBot hub that I've just used to control the aircon unit over there has a temperature sensor built into the cable and displays the readout of that sensor on this display. Now SwitchBot also make a bunch of Bluetooth temperature sensors. Some of them have a big screen on for a readout and some of them are IP65 rated and they can go outside. This is really powerful because not only can you get a temperature reading exactly where you want that reading, but they also store all of their information back on one of the hubs. So you can go in after the fact and see what the temperature was at a certain date and at a certain time, and even back over the last year to see temperature differential. The great thing is I've got these sensors everywhere basically because they're really inexpensive. I'll put all the links down there below. I've even got one in my sauna and this is my favorite use case because it can automatically ping my phone with a notification to say, hey Alex, the sauna's been on for an hour and it's now 50 degrees. You can go ahead and get in. It's all peace of mind stuff. 
Now, what about something a little bit more higher end, a little bit more premium than the previous SwitchBot lineup we've just checked out? So this is called the SwitchBot Lock Pro, and it's a combination of devices. This bit called the keypad touch, and I think it looks really cool with this rubber front. I love the fact that you can put a code in to open it. It has an NFC, or you can even use the inbuilt fingerprint reader on the front of the device to go ahead and unlock the door. Now, the beauty of all of this is, is it's wireless. So the keypad on the outside of the door communicates wirelessly to this part on the inside of the door. Now, this is the portion on the inside and it's actually really cool. Inside of here is the actual key and this is called the quick key. So you click this and then it twists the key on the inside so you can open the door. And again, the exact same when you want to lock it. Now, the beauty of this is it's powered by batteries, but let's say the batteries die and you're locked out of your house. Well, no worry, you can just twist this and manually twist and open the door in case you have any problems with the battery system, which I'm sure you won't anyway. If you have one of the SwitchBot hubs, it can also pair to that. Then you can open the door through the SwitchBot app through anywhere in the world and also through HomeKit, which is awesome. Right, let's jump back to the basics for a quick second because all the stuff we've looked at quite quickly seems really cool on the surface, but there is something that I'd like to mention. The first is that analogy I gave at the start of the video. I think it's really important. I wouldn't be looking at SwitchBot's robots thinking that I'm gonna go and stick one of these on every single light receptacle around the house because there's easier ways to smarten up light switches. That being said though, if you find yourself in the same situation that I'm in as to where you've got a device that isn't smart, like a sauna heater or a battery bank. Now I got introduced to SwitchBot through the robots. And to be honest, that isn't where my love lies with the company. It's actually with the hubs coupled with the temperature sensors. This entire ecosystem of product has enabled me to control the climate system in my house. So much so that now I never have to set a temperature depending on whether I'm in the studio, in the kitchen, or in my bedroom. All these locations have their own aircon or a heat pump that's controlled by one of the many SwitchBot hubs. I hate to say this, but I've become a little bit of a temperature nerd over the last month or so, constantly checking the temperature in different locations around the house. It's really quite interesting. Now, another thing that ties in really nicely with climate is the curtain and blind control, or in this case, a set of shades, which you can see opening without any intervention, except from this little robot up here, which is quite cleverly twisting the rod. Now, this is kind of the same as the rest of the SwitchBot lineup, like the robots clicking a button or like the SwitchBot Lock Pro turning a key. This here is twisting this rod, which then in turn changes the the angle of these shades. Now this system here should be totally maintenance free because you can buy a little solar panel which goes on the window, picks up the energy from the sun and puts it inside of here. So we have ourselves some smart blinds which we should never have to touch or charge. And that's the hardest thing with smart blinds is actually getting a permanent power source up to the blind, which literally nobody has. Now, like the rest of the lineup, this gets even more powerful when you tie it into an automation. For example, you could have a temperature sensor in a room that says, hey, when it reaches 24 degrees in here, shut the blind to block out the sun. It's a really, really powerful ecosystem that blows my mind the more I think about it. And it's not just these tilt blinds they do, they make a whole manner of different devices depending on the type of shades or rails or curtains that you own. And you can attach a solar panel to them so they will always stay charged and maintenance free. And it does work really, really well. As I mentioned, I didn't think SwitchBot would be such a massive part of my smart home life, but fast forward a couple of years and it really is. All the way from the control of these random devices around my house to the really well integrated IR control for things like TVs and air conditioning. And the SwitchBot app is probably in the top 10 most used apps daily on my phone. And that's really saying something. But with that being said, my name's Alex. This has been TechFlow and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.